and we'll just add the artifact so here we can select the build pipeline so build pipeline will publish the artifact and that will be the input for the release pipeline so release pipeline is going to use the same artifact so it is going to fetch the latest build every time and then it is going to deploy that particular code to the server okay so we will just click on add so it has added the artifact now we can click on continuous deployment trigger so we'll enable this so you can just see create a release every time a new build is available so it is going to trigger this release pipeline automatically and automatically it is going to deploy the code so that will save a lot of time so no need to manually trigger it so now we are going to save it now we'll go to release and we'll create a release here we can see we have the artifact and the latest build so we'll just create a release release in progress okay so it's initializing the job then it will download the artifact so first in the build pipeline it has published the artifact it is going to download the same artifact from the drop location and then it is going to install the dotnet core runtime because we have a dotnet core project so it will install this particular dotnet core runtime on the server okay so this is completed now so we have successfully deployed our code to server so this is our server so we can see we have deployed our website just at 419 okay it's 420 it's server time okay so we have successfully deployed it and now we can open the IAS and we can see our site is up and running so let's browse it and http colon double slash localhost colon 80 okay so we can see we have successfully deployed our website so this in the server we are able to fetch the website now we'll check on internet so let's write the ip so what's my ip address So you can see we have successfully hosted our website so it is we are able to access it on internet using the public IP address so later on if you want to use different domains so you can purchase a domain and you can map it with the, your IP or you can just add a load balancer and you can map your domain with the load balancer DNS and then you'll have a better name here for the website but right now it's a public IP that I'm using provided by the Azure so Azure has provided one public IP and using that I'm able to access my website on internet okay so now we'll quickly modify some code and we'll see like how quickly we are able to deploy our code to the server using the pipelines so we'll see the advantage of pipeline so this is our code and we are going to modify it so we'll add one more line and we'll say welcome all okay so let's run it so how our website will look so this will add one more line welcome all so now we can see we have added one more line welcome all and but this is in our local in localhost so we want to deploy it to the server okay so we need to commit the code so let's open the terminal and here we are going to right git add dot git commit modified website content
okay now we'll go to azure devops we'll go to repos commit so we can see we have committed the code and if we'll click here so we have added one more line welcome all okay so we'll trigger the pipeline we'll click on build pipeline and we are going to run this build pipeline So it's running now and one advantage is like we have already enabled the continuous deployment. So automatically when the build will be completed then it is going to trigger the release. So we can see automatically it has started the release. Okay so it's successful. So we have successfully deployed our code to the server. Now if we go and uh, this was localhost this was our website deployed and if we'll try to refresh it. So we can see we have successfully updated our website. So how quickly, you know, you can modify the code in Visual Studio. So we just need to trigger the pipeline and it's deployed. So it's a very easy process. So, you know, whenever next time you want to modify the code, so it will be very quick. So in the upcoming videos, we'll see how we can manage the Docker images in the pipeline or how we can deploy a website in Docker container. So we'll meet in next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. And thanks for watching.